How's it going guys and girls? We are back with another video. We are looking at the predicted lineups that we should play against Manchester United, which in my opinion would mean that we would get a good result uh, this Sunday. Um, but before we get into it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. So yeah, we have got one of the hardest tests that we were faced in uh, recent weeks. Obviously we have Real Madrid, but on a league basis, this is one of our biggest tests in a while against Manchester United, obviously at Anfield, which is a positive. Um, and it's going to be a very tough game because Manchester United have been in top form. We cannot deny that. Um, and it's one that we're going to have to be really ready for. We need a defensive performance like we had against uh, Wolves on the week. And uh, we need an attacking performance like the start of the Real Madrid game or the start of the Newcastle game. Uh, so we really need to combine, you know, solid defence and solid attack together to even, you know, stand a chance. And, uh, you know, with recent drop points from Tottenham, uh, top four is on, boys and girls. So, yeah, this is a team that we should line up to beat Manchester United. We're kicking it off in there and we are going in with the best goalkeeper in the world. Uh, Alison Becker, of course, is the goalkeeper. Uh, he has been, you know, really, really good this season. He has saved us countless number of times. I know we play a high line and that means that he has to have a lot of one-on-one -on -one saves. Uh, but most of the time he pulls them off. And, uh, you know, with Rashford being in the form that he's been in recently, as well as the whole of the Man United front line, it is going to be very important that Alisson has the game of his uh, life, which he kind of has every other week, it feels like. So, you know, hopefully Alisson can keep pushing on. And, uh, yeah, Alisson is obviously the goalkeeper choice. Right back, I have gone for Trent Alexander-Arnold. Now, obviously, you could go a bit more defensive. Joe Gomez isn't back yet, so you couldn't do him. You could say James Milner may be in right back. Um, but, no, come on. We are going for Trent. I know he's going to have a tough time against Rashford if Rashford plays down that left wing against him. But, realistically, with the centre-back partnership that I've gone for, there's cover for Trent. Um, and, you know, and, and the centre mids as well. There will be cover for Trent. And what he provides on an attacking front, if he's on his game, which he often is against Manchester United, um, then, you know... It's definitely worth putting Trent Alexander-Arnold in the starting lineup. In the centre-back position on the right-hand side, I have, of course, gone for Canate. I mean, what a performance in, and steady force he was against Wolves, you know. There was just, you just felt secure with him there. It, it, we've missed him. We have missed him a lot. And uh, he really showed up against Wolves. It was nice to see. Um, really good to see Van Dijk as well, being confident alongside him. And, of course, speaking of Van Dijk, he is going to be the left-sided centre-back. I mean, there's no choice, really. Um, Van Dijk, again, like I was just saying a second ago, he is just so quality, and when he's got a good partner alongside him, that quality starts to show. There's confidence in the team, there's confidence in the defence. Um, I'm not going to get too carried away, because obviously it was one game, but I just felt so secure and, and, and snug, you know, in that game, and it was really nice having that centre-back partnership back, and uh, it's good to hear that, you know, everything's still fit at the moment. Uh, please, you know, I'm touching wood. Um, let's not jinx it. But hopefully them two can be our centre-backs and that is a very good way that we can win this game. Now, Simicast played an incredible game against uh, Wolves. But I do think Andy Robertson is still the right choice. I think Simicast was having a... I tell you what, he played an incredible game as an overall. But if you look at the points throughout the game, there was a few times where he got caught out. Maybe a little bit exposed. And I just think Andy Robertson is that little bit more secure. And, um, you know, hopefully he can do what Simicast did going forward. Because that assist was a thing of beauty. Um, but yeah... Andy Robertson is going to be the left-back choice. I still think he's one of the best left-backs in the league. And he often gets overlooked by, um, you know, many people. Uh, which is a shame to see. But, yeah, Andy Robertson, show him what you got. In right centre mid, we have gone for Jordan Henderson. Now, this is obviously, you know, right centre mid, right centre defensive mid. I don't want him to play super defensive, like, when he goes terrible and just passes it back every time. But he's there to help out Trent Alexander-Arnold and, and, you know, be that little bit of security that we have in the midfield. I think he is very good at covering for Trent in that position. Um, when Trent, you know, needs a little bit of doubling up. Or if Trent goes forward, Henderson's very good at the cover in there. Uh, probably the best that we've had at covering that right-hand side. So that is why I've gone for Henderson, to enable Trent to do more. And, um, you know, obviously our midfield options are a little bit thin in, in quality this season. But Henderson is the man to carry it forward. And obviously, your captain should be playing in a big derby like this. Of course, we are going for the youngster in the left defensive end. That's left centre mid, however you want to see it, of Stefan Bajetic. I mean, he has just been... So quality in his earlier time at Liverpool and, you know, I hope that he doesn't let it go to his head. I think that happened a little bit against Real Madrid and this is another very big game. I still would pick him because of the quality that he has. Um, I think that he just can drive us forward in many ways, but he has to be better at retaining the ball. Um, otherwise, we could get caught out on the counter, especially against players like Casemiro, who are just so good at reading and intercepting passes uh, and tackling the man, you know. Pajetic, you're brilliant, and just show them what you're worth, but don't get overzealous. That's all I ask. Like I've said in previous weeks, Cody Gakpo has been very, very impressive for Liverpool. I think 
one of the things I really like of him is his decision making and picking the right pass and, and getting on the ball and driving a little bit. And that's why I put him in that sort of cam free role again. Um, you know, be between him and Firmino in that role, uh, I think Gak offers a little bit more. Uh, love to Bobby Firmino, who has obviously announced that he's leaving. So I imagine we will see at some point him featuring the game for the emotions and stuff like that. Um, it isn't his end of the season yet. We're not at that point. It still should be Gakpo starting in that cam role. And I think he really could, you know, unlock, have the key to unlock the, uh, the unlock, unlock the door against Manchester United. And I feel I feel a goal for Cody Gakpo. That's what I feel. And in right wing, we have got a man who has picked up a little bit of form lately in Mohamed Salah. You know, a couple of goals in a couple of fair few games. He's getting a little bit of a hot streak. I dare to say it. It's a warm streak right now. He's got a few goals, getting in the right place. He's having a bit of confidence come back into him, which is so good to see. Um, and hopefully he can take that in against Manchester United because in the last season he was brilliant against Manchester United and we just need that back from him. Last couple of seasons really. Um, so yeah, Mo Salah right wing, no doubt in my mind. And let's see if he can do what he's done in previous seasons against Man U and carry us through to victory. On the left wing we have gone for Captain Chaos. Of course we have. I mean, when he's in the Liverpool team there is just so much more to our game. He is just powerful, he drives, he makes defenders worry, and it's just brilliant to see. I know he doesn't always get the most involved at times, but when he gets it through to him, he sparks the life, and there is no defender in the, in the league, in my opinion, that can keep pace with him. Uh, maybe not even another player, because he is just so rapid, and it is terrifying for defenders. He's always running off the shoulder, which is brilliant, and um, you know, if we pick out the right pass from him, he's shown he can finish in recent weeks as well. Um, even the one where he was offside was a good composed finish. Not offside, sorry, it was a foul in the build-up. It's a good composed finish. Um, so yeah, more of that from Captain Chaos Star Wizzy. Let's get a goal. And up front is going to be Diego Jota now. Uh, I thought he was quite good uh, in the recent weeks. He's been building it up a little bit again. And because I want to play that four up front, you know, he is the man that I choose. Obviously, Luis Diaz is coming back soon, which is going to make things very interesting up front, um, which I'm excited about. But for now, Diego Jota has to be that man up front. He's good in the air for the balls coming into the box. And he does harry them and, and give a good bit of pressure to the defenders as well. Um, and he's got a nice little link-up play here and there. So, Diego Jota, hopefully you can get us a goal. You know, it's been a while since you got one. Um, you got an assist, so there, there's something, and now let's get the goal. But yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Manchester United is going to be a very hard game. I am aware of it. I hope you all are too, because it's not going to be easy. But if we line up like this, I think we have a great chance. I wish Jurgen Klopp would listen to me. Uh, I don't think he will line up this, like this exactly. I think he'll go a bit more cautious. One less attacker, one more midfielder, probably Fabinho. But in my opinion, this is how he should line up. Um, and yeah, this team definitely could have a good chance against United. It's got very solid defensive foundations and very good attacking play to, to really piece them apart. We'll just have to wait and see what Jurgen Klopp does. Um, and that will be at half four. Of course, we will be live for it. If you uh, want to join that, you know, you'll know where to see us. It'll be on this channel, it'll be on Twitch, it'll be on TikTok. Uh, but until next time, I'll see you in another video. Peace!